Hello and welcome back to another video with Amuolani. I decided to go with the bu start with the this week's videos with the Bubblegum Dango. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to switch every game or every other game, but uh, I will switch back and forth between this and my my two star Cosmic Abyssia. Now we do have a border. Uh, I don't think we've seen in the videos, or well, maybe we have. But uh, this, I believe, is a diamond border. Uh, it's beyond platinum. I've never actually been to Diamond, so I don't know. And we have s lots of th three stars. This is kind of fun. With the uh, Lunar Beast Dragons. Or Chauncey and uh, Fury Horn, rather. And the, the three star Porcelain Bell Swayer. I believe she's from the upgraded pass uh, this season, uh, and I'm, if you don't upgrade the pass, I'm, I'm not sure if you can get her later on. Uh, that might be a, a upgraded pass only while the season is going. All right. Oh, the bubblegum dingo is so cute. If you are just joining us for the first time, if you're relatively new to TFT, uh, I will just kind of explain briefly the mechanics on the screen. Uh, up top here, you'll see the round info. Uh, these first three rounds after the first carousel are always the NPCs. You get these loot orbs. The You can get white, blue, or yellow loot orbs. Uh, and out of all the loot orbs, you have a chance at getting gold, champions, or items. Um, the yellow ones have a chance of giving you the most gold, the, like the best items or the best champs. Um, blue is in the middle, and, and then common is... Ooh. Well, this, now you get to see uh, at least may or may not struggle doing this on our own. We will see. This is what you don't want to do. You do not want to go into these NPC rounds without a team on the board. So that was a whoopsie. Um, and then after these initial rounds, you uh, the the rounds will be the same after that it'll be uh, two dash one through seven three dash one through seven uh, etc and I'll explain that kind of as we get there down at the bottom we have the shop oh and we let Lou go by and apparently talking today and trying to actually play well that's all right um, Kind of making some mistakes here. That's okay, though. Uh, so down here at the bottom, you have your shop. It, it refreshes for free every round unless you hit this little lock button. Uh, the shop, uh, it's always going to have five heroes, and your chances of getting which, uh, which cards are shown here uh, right above the shop on the left. Uh, these odds change depending on what level you are. Uh, in the middle here, above the shop, you see your gold income, or your uh, the, the total gold that you have, and then if you scroll over, you can see your, your possible income. Uh, it goes up. That interest is you get one gold uh, per every ten gold that you have. It will be, you'll see a visual here on the side of your arena. There is a passive income, and then this win-loss streak is, uh, you can s scroll over right here and read what it does. And 
gold per win uh, is one. And that's it if you win a PvP round. Over here on the right, you will see uh, you are one of eight folks competing. Uh, the people with the most hit points are at top. The people with the least hit points are at the bottom. We are at the bottom. That's okay. Um, and the people at the bottom get to pick first uh, in the carousel rounds. Now you'll see at the top the rounds have kind of changed. Uh, so now we will have these uh, double sword rounds or the PvP rounds. There's five in every uh, round. And then there's one, uh, this cog circle looking thing is the carousel. That's where you get to pick the item that, ha or the champion that has an item. And then uh, you will also, uh, at the end of each round, you'll have an NPC round. They have a chance to drop the loot orbs. And then over here on the left, uh, these are the traits that you have from uh, champions that are actually on the board. It does not include champions that are on your back border here. So uh, the the uh, the only bonuses we're currently getting are the two piece mystic, which I'll scroll over. All allies gain magic resistance. Uh, in this case, since it's just the two piece, it's forty magic resist. Oh, nice. We actually don't need the Yumi. Um. And then in the carousel, uh, this is your home button, this blue button down here. In the bottom right, uh, you will see you can click on the different maps and kind of see what the different teams are doing. And you can just click, uh, this takes us back to the carousel, uh, this button here takes us back home. So now that everybody's in their own arena, you can click on the different ones to see who's where, and then you can click the home button to go home again. And then uh, everyone, this is uh, part of this season, everyone gets those, the question mark, those red uh, question mark orbs, uh, which means that everybody gets the same thing. Typically something we look for, um, right now I'm kind of centering on I am trying to go mage, so the keyword I'm looking for is just mage. We do have the two-piece mystic. Which I don't know if we'll go more mystic or not. Oh, we do have this target dummy we need to get out on the board. That was uh, what everybody got. And then I believe everybody got an ADC large rod.
So I did go back to just having mages. I sold my, my mystics. Now, as you can see, I'm at 24 gold, uh, so I will get one gold per per uh, 10 that I have, and so that's why I have these two gold blobbies over here on the left. I'm not grabbing the pike because I am looking more for a mage build. And he does not really fit into my build. Oof, siphoner would be good. It's just Nasus is the siphoner that lifts out, so I think I will wait and see what I get. This mechanic, this uh, this pink, the why he's glowing pink and why he costs three instead of one, it's the mechanic of the season. Uh, chosen champions have a chance to appear in your shop. They provide plus one to the marked trait. In this case, you can see it's uh, plus one to the siphoner. They, I believe, also have increased base stats. Uh, I, I don't know that for sure, but I, I think I've, I've heard that and, and read that a little bit uh, in some of the TFT articles. So getting a, ch a chosen champion and actually, you know, ha filling them out with uh, with with max items is uh, it's a good way to go. All right, we are finally up to fifty gold. So now uh, we the max, or we're at the max point for interest. So now every round I will be actually spending my gold. Uh, the places you can spend the gold, you can spend them um, here in the shop on the cards. You can spend them over here on the left. You can either buy experience. Four gold buys you four experience. Uh, the experience applies up here. You can say I'm six out of 20, so the four would, would put me 10 out of 20 if I were to use it. Uh, I don't want to drop below 50 gold, though, so I'm not using it. Um, and then you, have, uh, you can also spend it to refresh the shop, and it, it refreshes the cards that you have. And as you can see, the my percentages have changed now that I'm level 5. We actually have a sm small chance to see the purple cards. Now with mages, um, the needlessly large rods are a good item to go for, so are the tears. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and just get up to level 6 here before I really start doing much rerolling.
You can also, here on the left, you have the bench where you see your items. Uh, you can uh, grab an item and uh, scroll it over another, and you can see what it builds into. Now that's an awesome item, uh, and I could put it on Vladimir, but I don't think I'm going to. I think I'll save it and put it on Annie, actually. Uh, maybe. If there's a possibility that we can get uh, make a mage item, uh, we, we would want to make Vladimir a mage. That would be really good. So you can right click on any of the heroes that you have, uh, and it will bring up this menu. You can kind of scroll over everything. See, so read what it does. All right, uh, I'm gonna give me a sec here. Mage, perfect, and a better siphoner. All right, and uh, this we will actually put on Vigor. And Vigor, what he does, uh, you can scroll over his skill here. Uh, th this is what he casts when his mana bar fills up. He blasts the enemy with the lowest health, dealing 887 magic damage. If this kills his target, he permanently gains one spell power. We need to work on Annie. Our front line is a little lackluster. Ooh, a brilliant soul. Alright. start rolling or start uh, dumping into experience to get up there so Annie what she does is she uh, blasts a cone of fire dealing magic damage to enemies in front of her then she creates a shield uh, with a lot of health on herself for eight seconds. And if you build her tanky, a lot of people use her as a front line with the mage teams. We're just not getting the tanky items. Oh, we don't need that. Okay. Now we need to look for Vladimir again uh, to get some extra healing in here. But Aurelian Soul does a lot of damage, so getting him with the items is really good.
go ahead and read here what uh, what Aurelian Soul does. He breathes lightning in a line towards the farthest enemy, dealing 683 magic damage and overcharging all enemies hit for 10 seconds. If the enemy is already overcharged, uh, he consumes the effect and deals 50% bonus damage. Next order of business is we are going to get back up to 50 gold now that we're level 7. Uh, so I'll go ahead and scroll over the mage here so you can read it. So mages can twist or can cast twice and have modified spell power. Uh, in this case, I've got the 5 piece, so they get 105% of their total spell power. Dragon Soul. The first Dragon Soul allies to take damage in combat receive the Dragon's Blessing. While blessed, the unit gains bonus stats. Every fifth attack fires a Dragon Soul Blast, dealing 40% of the target's maximum health in magic damage. On death, this blessing passes to the closest Dragon Soul ally without a blessing. So, i.e. they're doing lo just lots of magic damage. And then the Siphoners, uh, all allies heal for some of the damage they deal with spells and attacks. It's 10% for allies and 40% for Siphoners. I am just waiting to combine uh, these items here. This item or this round coming up with the raptors is the last round uh, that where the orbs will have these single items. So I'm just waiting to see what I get, and then after that, the orbs will have uh, full items. I'm debating uh, whether to... I would normally just try to get up to level 8. Uh, normally I actually try to be level 8 by the raptors. Uh, so I am a little bit behind in levels. Uh, so at this point I may just try to reroll a little bit and see if I can't get Veeger 3 star. So I'm just looking for the keyword uh, siphoner or mystic down here. Or not mystic, excuse me, mage. Now that he is a siphoner, I don't have room in my build. Well, let me look at this. So 
Uh, I will have six mages. Plus two... Siphoners. And odds are I'm not getting up to level 9. So yeah, I'm just not going to have room in my build for Vladimir. Which is okay. There's the Morgana, very nice. Uh, reason why I went with this item, the Static Shiv, every third basic attack, they unleash a Chain Lightning, dealing 65 magic damage to four enemies. This Lightning can crit critically strike, dealing bonus damage and reducing the target's magic resist by 60% for 6 seconds. So I, I went for it for the reduced magic resistance since I'm doing lots of magic damage. Alright, and now that the Annie is decked out, she is surviving, which is exactly what we wanted. Now we finally have the two-star Twisted Fate. So I'm going to look at the two mages here. So he will deal 683 magic damage and his spells can crit, or 976 damage. Yeah. I think we're going to make the Vigor more of a threat. Time to spend our gold or drop out. So we'll go for mass rerolling and hope we get lucky. Yeah, we will get up to level eight. give us the seven piece. So now the the mages are getting the 130% of their total spell power. Oh, there was an Annie. Shoot.
dice we uh, get top four. Take it. In TFT, the top, if you make it into the top four, that's considered winning. Uh, if you make it into the bottom four, that's considered losing. Uh, now, if you just play normal games, that doesn't really affect anything. Um, aside from if you if you do the, the league passes, uh, winning games, uh, getting into the top four counts for that. Uh, but it, it does affect it if you're in ranked. Uh, so you gain LP if you're in the top four, you lose LP if you're in the bottom four. We're just not seeing the mages, and that is probably we did run across a couple other people going mages, and I don't know uh, when they die if the cards go back into the general pool or not. They may not. So we are not seeing uh, mages now, which is not not good. And he's sitting here. He's got all the gold, <laughs> or three stars. Uh. Well, if you enjoyed the video, please thumbs it up. Uh, if you enjoy what I'm producing, please subscribe to the channel, and we'll see you next video.